um, a, a rhino or not. And so you could be the most conservative person since sliced bread, unless you're kissing his rear end, they will somehow call you a rhino. So you're not rooted in principle. Uh, if all we are is listless vessels that's just supposed to follow, you know, whatever happens to come down the pike on Truth Social every morning, th that's not going to be a durable movement. Okay. So, Charlie, I've covered a lot of Trump rallies. I've talked to a lot of their supporters, and I can tell you right now, I'm calling it, right. Listless Vessels is going to be on a T-shirt. Yeah. And each, if it's not already on bet. one right now, um, what's the thing? Yeah, I think that's a safe bet. Uh, no, it, it's a terrible strategy. Um, and it's so frustrating because Ron DeSantis has such a tremendous record to run on. He has such a he has there's so much promise for him, but he is really failing. Uh, like we have seen few politicians with so much going in their direction fail as badly as as he is failing. Um, he's not he's not very good at politics. It's it's appearing. And if you the, and the biggest tell is when you go after the voters that you're supposed to win over and you attack them and you mock them. You know, we, we've seen Hillary Clinton tried it with the basket of deplorables, as you pointed out, um, and it didn't work for her. And so he's coming up. Not only is he coming up with something, I don't even know what a listless vessel is, except that it's insulting. And it, the suggestion is that these people are not only all the things that Hillary Clinton thought they were, but they're also stupid and they're getting snookered. Trump voters are very, very wise to that. And he's doing himself serious damage that is going to, to carry with him uh, not only through this primary, but it's going to hurt him four years from now. Well, and for sure, um, Governor DeSantis probably never thought that he would be compared to Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Let's go to a flashback. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic... Islamophobic, you name it. Empty vessels. Uh. <laughs> so, Tommy, is this a fair comparison? So I don't think it's a fair comparison to compare anybody to Hillary Clinton. I consider her to be the fourth Sanderson sister, so I think that we just leave it to Halloween when we make comparisons to Hillary. But moving forward on this DeSantis comment, it was... It was not a good comment to make, and I'm sure he is kicking himself, and I'm, I'm sure he wishes he could rephrase it. Now, what I heard him say is maybe a kernel of the truth, and I'll tell you what, I believe he was trying to get across, and he failed at it. I think what he was trying to say is this. I am not a rhino simply because I am running against Donald Trump. I think that's what he wanted to say, and I think further what he wanted to say where he messed up horribly with the listless vessels comment, and it, it rings like a deplorable, is what he should have said is, listen, I understand that you follow Trump because you love him and you love his policies and you see what's going on with him and you see the indictments and the sham and the witch hunt. However, we need to look beyond that and just what we're talking about with all of the, the circus of chaos and indictments and understand that we as a movement have to be durable. We have to live beyond Donald Trump and we have to have the America First policies be our bedrock. Now, that's what he should have said. Unfortunately, he did not say it that way, and it's going to hurt him. It's going to bruise him badly. But he has had to walk landmines. He is the only Trump competitor, maybe outside of Mike Pence a little bit, who has had to navigate the MAGA supporter. Because Trump does not attack any of his other competitors the way he attacks Ron DeSantis. Vivek will go on, and he will take shots at Trump, but Trump will never take a shot at him because he doesn't see him as a threat. What the Trump campaign did masterfully before DeSantis even announced was labeled him a disloyal Benedict Arnold, rhino, out the gate, and he's been unable to I know, but the that. fact is, when, you, when you're 40% down on the other guy's movement, you need chunks right. of that movement to be competitive and to win. Right. By alienating them this way, that's a, the, basically what Ron DeSantis has done here, and Charlie, you're right, incredible record, incredible family, a smart guy, let's say that as a precursor. But to consign yourself to Chris Christieville this early in the race, I think is a very bad move. It looks to me like it was an unforced error. He'll probably have to walk it back. But uh, clearly, but to, to, th this is bad. And to Tommy's point, it's a, it's a near impossible task to walk that balance, trying to say that you're the better candidate without insulting the well, people who are 